Yeah. Does anyone want the holy symbol she was carrying? I'll take it. Alright. Otherwise, we're gonna look. Well, did, you did you have somebody take did you have someone take the hammer? Um I'll have Rune Hilda take the hammer. Okay, it's so it's a D four. It's better than a cudgel. The hammer's D four? Yeah. Okay. What is the cudgel? Is it D six or D four? D four probably. Or cudgel. Is a cudgel even a different weapon or is it like a cudgel D four? I just think of a cudgel as like a Naughty stick like a club. Yeah. I think a club, club is a D4. D4. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's and pretty much the same. Alright, so this one has nothing left. Oh, the one ounce of mithril. Who wants the mithril? I'll take it. Okay. okay. Alright, this person is dead end looted. And you said you <laughs> took the holy symbol as well? Yep. That's there is nothing left. There is nothing left on this person but clothes. Oh, take those! No. Remember how cold it gets at night? You do then Cooper, fun. did did you take the backpack and barrel from this <clears> one? <throat> and the copper, backpack, barrel, and copper. I have not. We should just split up the copper between the two of them evenly. So it was yeah. like twenty nine and thirty seven. Well, I already logged the copper from the other one, so I already okay. took it. We'll just. You guys just we don't need to worry about splitting it up now. No. All right. We'll split it up. We'll split everything we have left at the end when our destinies are Revealed. fulfilled. And we can <laughs> spun on the wheel. So you got the backpack and the barrel. Guys, what if our destinies are worse copper. than they are now? All right. It couldn't possibly be. She promised There's me another these. dead and looted <laughs> body. I'm going to take a quick little bathroom break here. Yep. Be right back. You know me though. Yeah, you can.
And we are back. <coughs> Perilous journey over the invisible bridge over the ocean. Um, at this point, you have all just defeated these disgusting birds. Um, and you continue forward. And you seem, you see ahead. There is a huge um, hole, the hole in the sky that you were looking for that was foretold by the lady in blue. Um, at this point, it's just a shimmer of air off in the horizon. But as you're getting closer, you can see it as a 15-foot diameter window surrounded by crackling blue fingers of energy. The sky behind it is a magenta, super red sky that contrasts with its, the blue hue of the hole. Red sky night, sailor's delight. Red what sky is morning, that? Sailor, take warning. I don't, I don't know what to do. This is Mendel, by the way. He's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he has feelings too, you know. He just doesn't know it. He just doesn't, he just doesn't know it. Doesn't know it. <laughs> hey, but he's a good... He killed two of the birds, so he's, he's okay with He's us. okay with us, yeah. Should we head towards the hole in the sky? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. How do we get in it? This is our destiny. For now. It is your destiny. <laughs> yeah, I guess we keep going towards it as fast as possible. Get in there. It's cold get out in here. There. Yeah. Stormy. Wind blows our friends off the bridge. It's weird. Warty birds. <laughs> Wart birds and <laughs> broken pirate ships. Okay. So you approach it? Yes. And do what with that? Well, so... It's a window? It's Yeah, it's like a 15-foot portal, Portal, essentially. okay. Can we so jump in? Dilly Man tries to climb in. All right. So Dilly Man kind of... Seems to take a little leap of faith into the portal, and you just see him kind of get sucked in and disappears from view. Hey, that looked like fun, says Mendel, and <laughs> jumped in after him. And he jumps in. <laughs> <see him. laughs> All right, let's jump. Yeah. All right. You all get Every sucked through. Everybody gets sucked <laughs> through. Adventure over. You all died. <laughs> Yeah. Short session. <laughs> <We're> almost... <laughs> that has been the hole in the sky. You found it. <laughs> this was your destiny. <laughs> Total party. Living a hole. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. <laughs> so you you, pop, you go through the hole and your ears pop. And the sudden warmth of this place makes you momentarily dizzy. You are in what must be an entirely different world. The air is misty, but as best you can tell, the sky is a bright magenta color. You are standing in what appears to be some sort of bamboo forest, mm. but the bamboo is thinner and flatter than you have ever seen. Looking behind you, you cannot see the porthole anymore. Your companions just seem to be stepping in through thin air. The air is heavy and has an oppressively intense scent, like intense saffron. Off in the distance, you see a single structure. The mist limits your visibility, but you see this dark structure rising out of the mists ahead. I bet that's where they're keeping she who shall not be named. That's right. We yeah. can't say that her name because they'll, they'll know. know. They'll know. What will happen if you say that name? We may never know. <laughs> Someone should say you it. Say just so we find out what happens. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell the really wants you to say it out loud. But <laughs> you know better. <laughs> But really want to call her. She said we couldn't. I'm thinking it though. Wendell, <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> do you, Do you even know what it is? Well, because she tried to. She spelled it, and I'm I almost think... positive you don't know how to read. <laughs> He's got you there. You know that's why I'm still at Squire. You know, yeah. I should have gotten promoted to the night long. The time. first letter was a W. <laughs> Wink. 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 You're teasing. Me, so we're all gonna, I think, head towards the big structure. 
Alright, so you, you start Without to march through the 